Welcome back. Now, any business problem that we have that is internet based, we can query ChatGTP to determine if there is a solution available that may be hidden from us in the search engines. To do that, we're going to go to a new conversation. We're then going to go to ChatGPT and we're going to ask a plain language question of a business problem that we may be having for something specific to our online presence. Now, anytime that you start a new chat on the left side menu, you are basically starting a conversation. And so you can start with a question that will seem broad and then you can come back and narrow down your question based on the results that ChatGPT gives you. So what we're now going to do is click enter. So what you have is you have an initial set of information. You can now come back and you can ask a qualifying question in order to continue the conversation and solve your business problem. And again, when you are typing in commands, even though you're typing in plain language, understand that you are typing into a machine. You are also typing in a machine that is scraping the internet for answers for your question. We are now going to click enter. Now, obviously, we can type in all of the qualifiers into one question area. What we're demonstrating now is the nature of a conversation. What we now have is specific information. We can now type in a follow-up question based on that information. And we're now going to click Enter. Now, you'll notice then that ChatGPT has given you information. And this information that it has given you, even though it does not provide the direct answer that you've asked, is actually accurate. If you wanted to look for the actual answers to the question that we have queried it with. And we can type in a follow-up question about the information. As you can see here, we've typed in a follow-up question and we've been given an answer. So you can use ChatGPT in order to solve specific business problems by using one screen at a time and by asking follow-up questions. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.